this is Gigi and this is a tarot reading for my Aquarius sign. Hi Aqua, how are you? <laughs> I cannot believe I'm doing an Aquarius reading in Cancer season. Why Aquarius? I've been promising you guys, I think for a few weeks, for a reading. And here it comes. And if it comes now, it's because the timing is right. So. I just want to tell you, this is a general reading, you guys. Keep this in mind. General. Please, if it doesn't resonate, try not to read too much into it, okay? Leave it all behind, okay? Let's start your reading from my Aquarius and see what the message is. General, okay? General. Ooh, Madre Tierra. Princess of Swords in a reverse and Luna in a reverse. Ooh, Aquarius, a situation that really asked for you to pause. Pause. Something you thought was like I, I, I see you like you have targeted something. You were able to reach the target. But things are changing, or it has changed since then. Aqua, all right. Um, I don't know. I, I also see something that has to do with like a pregnancy or something. It may not. Um, there's many things happening, Aqua. Okay, it could have been uh, very quiet. We, ooh, yeah, something was hidden. Okay, so there's something that you. I had in mind. I don't think it was just in mind. I think maybe you had the other people that were that was involved, or they were part of it. They were part of it. All right. Uh, it was between this small unit. Could be at work, a small project with your family in your neighborhood. It's something very small. Or you kept it small. But I have to say, I quite. There's been some changes. Oh, okay, you're gonna see some unexpected changes. I think maybe some of you or some something was kept under wrapped It was about a completion or you wanted to Complete something. It's just a completion with a new beginning. It's just confusing here. Okay uh, oof, Wow temptation. I have to say aqua. I'm telling you for real. I felt it. I felt that you or someone close to you made a choice that was really based on lost attraction uh sexuality maybe you ended something a, a partnership to enter another one really quickly or someone close to you did they they made some or you made some ending in order to make something happen or if you were not willing to make something happen or if you couldn't make it happen at right now because it was involving someone else because they were hiding something else you you didn't come out at this story did not come out it's still being it's a very secret okay very sexual energy here with the madre, madre tierra and temptations here all right i have to say with the four pentacles is really being it's hidden and there's a princess of swords something you don't let's trade up some lies here aqua someone is lying to you okay you asked for something they told you yes be mindful aqua uh, i hate to see it this way because it's a no it says here all right something is not giving in a situation all right where you have or someone needs some ending they did all right on a low oh wow my goodness Oh shoot. Okay, five of pentacles in a reverse with princess of swords in a reverse. So you someone could have put them oh, right now there's a situation it's not stable. It could be a home situation is not stable. The home situation is connected to your finances. Your family are connected to your home. There's a home situation that is not given. It's a tongue down. Alright, so now with the five of pentacles numbers i have to say something in relate in relation to your home is better so maybe there was some arguing right now 
the arguing has stopped. So I'm not saying it's, it, it's a change of, of event. It's a 180. I'm saying that if there were some dispute, the dispute has stopped. All right. With the princess of swords, it's a thumb down. The situation is not. You're, the, someone is in a position that is not given. Okay. It's a position that shows that someone is not in a winning position. That's what it says. All right. Someone is not in a winning position okay oh this card came out like this oh seven of swords my goodness you see how that came out you guys aqua look at the betrayal Ooh, related to your home your house your family your close unit something private someone is gonna the seven of swords believe it or not aqua it says venus in aquarius all right so someone is trying to throw someone under the bus or someone has thrown someone under the bus. Oh, this reading is heavy. Aqua, what is going on? What is the next full moon is in Capricorn in your 12th house? You got to get rid of something quick or something's got, something big is ending. Quick, fast. That's what I see. The Seven of Swords is someone who said something they they knew someone knew that they were betraying someone or it's like you're asking someone am i the only one do you want me to do this do you want us to start with that and they were saying yes yes and yes all of that is a lie and it says they're lying they're straight up lying and let me tell you that's a, that's a liar who's very comfortable in lying. All right. Seven of Swords with the Princess of Swords in the reverse. That's a lie. And don't sign anything. Ooh, Five of Pentacles. Man, someone needs help. This is a, a temporary situation, okay? Aqua. There's some temporary situation shaping up right now in your personal life. Someone, let me tell you, someone's going to be knocking at your door. Or there's someone, something about your house coming in, leaving. Alright. And it has to do with temptation. It has to do with something, some type of uh, entanglement. Third party. Alright. Someone who was not, someone just wanted to have their cake and eat it too. The thing is... Someone thought that whoever was behaving in that way initially wanted to really... No, someone was just led by loss and someone took a gamble. It says if you meet someone, you have great sex and you're thinking you're the best they ever had. And you're, you're just, you know, really immersed in each other presence for the first two weeks. Let's say maybe it, it goes to a couple of months, three, four no it's it's just they're lying they have lied and and someone because of that someone decided to make decision like life altering decision madre tierra life altering decision for this flame of fire that was being ignited by lost behind the scene so the thrill of having someone who's not theirs behind the scene. And then there's a little bit like someone really think they're like, uh, what, what's that? Don Juan. Like, look at this guy. Look at him. Look, the, the woman for sure, she's like, look at, she's making the whole dance. The whole dance is on fire. Like, it's, she's like a feet just moving. She's all. And this, look at this guy. This guy's like, yeah. Like, I'm everything. I'm so smooth. Yeah, I'm a smooth guy. And this, this girl, she's like, oh my God, look at him. I got this guy. I got him. I can't believe I got this man. I got him. He's mine. He's mine. <laughs> it really, that's how it goes, okay? And then the behind the scene, behind the door. And they're dressed like in business attire, like they're like they're in business. It's in a drink business. Madre Sierra say, okay, I'm gonna end. 
I got this. I got this one. He's into me. Let me end this. Let me end my job. Let me end my apartment. Let me end my relationship. Let me end as much as I can. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hide that I'm ending for him. All right. You might not even know. Maybe he does. He probably does. Seven of Swords. This is a next to Prince of Swords. I'm glad because two uh, treacherous people, Aquarius, who came together uh, on the demise of uh, just, I don't know what was the demise. Let's look into the Seven of Swords. Because Seven of Swords is, let me tell you, this is someone who likes to have many, many advantage. It's like, yes, okay, we, we're going to do this business. But I still need to take something more from you. There's some people that are like that. Yes, yes, we're doing business. But I still need to take advantage of you in some other way. I need to make sure I have more kickbacks than you. Exactly. Eight of Swords. That is a true thumbs up. I need to make more than you. And if it's not money, something, I'm going to take more from you. Because where I'm coming from. I need to always make sure I have the upper hand or I take more from you or I take something of you. And that's the seven of swords. That's the swords he carries. Look, he has seven of those. It says, thumbs up. You're going to get a clarity. Someone's going to get the clarity. Okay. It could, has to, it, it could be done on the next cycle that has to do with the moon. Let's look at this energy. La Luna in the reverse. Man, this is a big... That's the thing. is the mirror element. Right? You project something. And whatever is projected is received the same way. And it's being projected by, back to you. So whoever, whoever got involved in that, that type of situation. That's what they were projecting. And the universe says, okay, so I'm going to project it, project that back to you. And I don't think they liked it because the backfire of having that seven of swords could leave someone hurt. It's a, it's a really, it could leave someone hurt because the seven of swords is a betraying card. It talks about betraying and lying, cheating. All right. So something about this new Full moon in Capricorn, ten of pentacles. Oh my goodness, I kid you not. Okay, so I need more. Ten of pentacles, it talks about family, stability, house, home. So I'm saying that whoever, because temptation, there's other, other things involved, other parties, someone else, whoever was involved, you're gonna see aqua or let tell me how it fits maybe that's a neighbor or friends or siblings all right um whoever has that story you're gonna see that the next uh full moon how close they're gonna be to, with their family how they're gonna come out looking really uh stable oh the universe my goodness it talks about ending but I have to say, which is really good, it's a good ending here. Something has been revealed. There's no longer, because um, whenever we deal with Luna, it talks about, um, yes. The word is, uh, it's not coming to, to, to me. What's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, not just projection. Uh, it talks about illusion the moon so something an illusion is going to be revealed which will bring stability to a, a family a house a situation is going to be good actually tell me more i like the ten of pentacles because it talks about inheritance all right something that is safe and secure it involves other people it's not just one person it involves support emotional support it talks also about 
uh, well, I should say financial financial support. It also talks about health, good health. So work on that, cause that's that may be the reason why things are not stable right now. But your health is gonna be restored with a nine of wands in a reverse. Oh, I feel like stories of of one nine stands are ending, cause nine of wands in a reverse. Ooh, you know what I'm, I'm thinking, you guys. You know sometimes there's a situation when there's a third party unbeknownst to let's say like uh whoever is like the wife or doesn't have to be married okay or the, the main partner i don't like to see the main partner but okay you guys get what i mean and then it creates some destruction in a relationship however it makes the relationship better The people, it brings the people closer. And I've seen it. I I heard it too. Yeah, I did. I heard it. I says, you know what? Yes, I know it, it did happen. And I know she got involved in my relationship. Or I know that he got involved in my relationship. I know she is as a third party this happened now looking back because you know you always have to take a step back right because in the midst of everything you, you know who has that much wisdom <laughs> okay I, you know to, to, to say that right if someone is cheating on you like well you know what actually I think it's that's a good thing no it's not all right but like I said for some people after a step back when they saw their partner with someone else or the the partner was with someone else it allows them to appreciate what they had if that's how life is we're only human right so i feel like in this situation it could bring two people closer it will bring their family closer not just the two is their family the people around them solidify their money their finance their health too i don't know maybe because there was some healthy competition but i have to say this is a card i do not like the betraying the seven of swords the card of yeah let me see what i can get because don't forget the seven of swords after that is the eight which talks about victim all right is when they're done doing the cheating, betraying, you know, trying to throw some throw someone under the bus, right? Put someone into a situation, right? To get them into the eight of sword. All right, so let's not let, let's not go there because it's not there here. I feel like someone got clarity with the ace of swords. So instead of seven and eight becoming a victim, someone took the clarity. They went and looked for answers. All right, and they got their answers. And life is, it's all about dealing with what we have at hand. So we can never really truly understand maybe how someone would react. I'm not saying I would take it lightly if someone get involved in a third party relationship and I'd be looking at it and be like, well, you know what? I think it was for the better. All right. But I'm not judging. All right. It's not important because two people who has a, who have a relationship who have a bond, who have a mutual, uh, love for each other, right? They are at a much better place now. After all they've been through, everything's been hidden, the temptation, the lies, the third party, the broken house, the moving, the losing his, this, the losing my apartment, the losing my relationship, the choice, the bad choice. Whoever, wherever they are, like this, whoever this party is in their, in that got involved, now in their relationship, they are in a better place. And if that is you and you're not in that place yet, believe me. 
the Most High says in the future, confirmation, in the future, you will, you will have the clarity. No longer the illusion. We're still in a little bit of Maya. A little bit. For some full-fledged, they, they are blind. They can't see. They have blood spine. That blood spine, you know what I'm saying? Something that could have to do with a blood or a spine. They have a blood, a blood, uh, a what am I saying? Um, blind spot. Okay, I've been here too long. Let me end this re reading, you guys. All right, so the most important thing is to let you know is that after all this, I'm not sure wherever the situation is in your life, how it's presenting itself, the good news is in the future because it could be just a karmic lesson. Those people could be karmic. And remember, when you meet someone that is karmic, it's karma. All right, it's not like you're a walk in a park and you're it's it's fun, it's it's really, really nice in the beginning, but the huge karma that you have to deal with, that's what we call them a karmic. Okay, so those two are karmic for each other. So they will deal with that afterwards. This temptation here, the, the, the hiding, is not going to translate to this. So don't get confused. That's not going to translate to, oh yes, now we're going to build a family and we're done. This is the end of the story. No, it talks about someone who's not there in the story right now. Probably because they're the one who's being betrayed and lied. All right. But in the future, maybe they will have that security, that family inheritance, that legacy with someone else. Maybe they, they will look at it and say, you know what? I did experience this in my first marriage or in this relationship uh, enough that the next one is going to be it's going to be different i'm going to use this as a wisdom i make sure i don't behave in a certain way but tell me how it like how it fit in your story i'm going to end this here for you my love let me know how this resonates leave me comments until next time send me lots of kisses i love you